Oh, be I'm back. Bye on the road. <clears throat> recently here heard an interesting story. <clears throat> By recently, I mean time between this episode and the previous one. So I thought the law here was kind of out of whack a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I suppose one of the more finer examples here would be imagine you own a jewelry store, you get robbed. And if you shoot the guy, you're the one to end up in prison. Even though it's your store that's being robbed. Apparently, weirder stuff than that happens. This one apparently happened somewhere in London. The guy had a uh, pond in his backyard you know, with fish and all in it. He uh, had to close up the pond, you know. Put dirt back in, fill it back up. Wanna know why? Because if someone burglarized him, he might fall in and die. Yeah. Let that sink in. If someone tried to break into his house, he might fall in and die. Personally, if that's the reason, I'd put more... I'd make it I'd make it deeper, you know? Put some crocodiles or something in there. The burglars are prone to fall into that. Great! Nope. Man has to close this pond because burglars might fall into it. <laughs> what even? Oh well. Such is life. And life is. I'm not really sure what we're doing here, but something's happening. Anyway, we're moving on. As I said, I'm not taking the normal road because There being there. So. We're detouring. A wonderful, wonderful scenery. The car that was behind. Well, no, it's just. <clears throat> side to side of the road is still not behind us. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but. Something is. <clears throat> it's a person we know, and that's. Good job. Throwing all the crud out. Uh, good job. Just throw it all out there. Anyway, car's warm again, but I'm not turning the AC up. I'll just sweat it out, I suppose. Uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um, the law is a weird thing. Seriously. You can end up in jail defending your own store against burglars. I mean, you got all these gun laws here. It's not like America where you can apparently, the minus say apparently, you can just get a gun out of a vending machine. Uh, not the case here, right? <clears throat> you need like a document, you need a piece of paper from the government saying that you're not insane. <clears throat> um, you need to be a member of a shooting club. And you need to go shooting, I think it's at least 12 times a week, uh, 12 times a year. So that's once a month. In order to keep your gun license. And if you want anything heavier than I believe a... Ugh, I'm not good with guns, I don't know all this stuff. But once you go above a certain caliber, 
and I believe uh, regular 9 mil is already outside of that category. <clears throat> you need a special license for that. And you also need a safe to put your gun in during the day and night when it isn't used. Anyway, all things together. It's quite the ordeal here, so... You go through all of that crap, and you can't even use it <clears throat> when you're in danger. Hey. <clears throat> well, I do suppose it means that there are less illegal guns floating around. Maybe there's more around because it is such a difficult thing to do, but I don't know. Armed robbery doesn't happen all too often. Usually, robberies happen when there's no one at the premise, so, you know, at night, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, well. Such is life. And what a wonderful life it is, right? I kid, of course. Life isn't all that wonderful here. But you can tell by people here going on strike every It's weird. We don't have money for one thing, but then we have tons of money for different things. So, really can't say what we're constantly up to here. So, we have plenty of money for child support, plenty of money for refugees, but homeless people? Yeah, no, nah, sorry, we don't have the funds for that. Eh. Bit weird, isn't it? Oh. Not just the way it is. Just the way it is. And we accept it because, you know, we're like passive aggressive. Yeah, we're gonna riot! Woo! Yeah! Oh shit, it's raining, never mind. And nothing ends up happening. Strike's the only thing we generally have. But, um. I mean, I think the wardens in certain prisons are now on strike for like four weeks. Things are becoming desperate, and uh, apparently, prisoners are complaining. Laundry doesn't get done and shit. Is it just me? Or are you guys think the same like, ah, fuck them. I mean, there's probably a damn good reason why they are in prison to begin with. And whilst I accept they're still humans and stuff like that, they shouldn't have the same rights that we do. I mean, I probably mentioned this before, but a guy went on strike because he didn't get the correct brand of chocolate pudding. They actually ended up giving him said correct pudding. Uh, I mean, they purposely shit their beds. The person will go like, wow, that's gonna suck to sleep in. Nope. Oh, poor prisoners, we need to support them. Uh, it all costs money, you know. I don't know, it's... It's weird, and that's all I can say about it. But it's a thing. I'm not pulling this out of my ass.
mean, rare things have happened, don't get me wrong. Um, I also heard about, um, <coughs> excuse me, like a burglar climbed on top of a roof, fell through one of those skylights onto the kitchen counter where there was like a knife block, ended up getting stabbed because he fell on it, and he sued the homeowners and he won it. He won the trial. I mean, what the fuck, man? You try to break into someone's house, you're clumsy enough to fall through a skylight, and you end up suing the homeowner. And you win. I mean, what the... Ugh. Yeah. Weird things will be weird. Nothing to be said about it. What can you do except for spreading the word about how messed up the law is in certain places? <sighs> anyway. Um, like I said, weirder things have happened. Uh, I mentioned, I probably mentioned this quite a few times, but you know, this is like episode 140, I don't know. Then I forget about things I previously may or may not have rambled about. But apparently, there was one guy who beat someone to death with a shoe, sued the shoe producer, because it wasn't written on the box that a shoe could actually be used as a lethal weapon. I don't think he won, but <clears throat> still. I mean, there was this one guy who sued himself. I can't remember what it was for, but he sued himself for half a million. He apparently won from himself. Congratulations. And because he didn't have that kind of money, his insurance company paid it out in full. Yeah. Sure. I mean, there's... Screw it. I'm going to cut it here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everyone.